that Chrysler has filed for bankruptcy, should you be concerned about buying one of their cars? Should you be concerned about whether you have a Chrysler right now? What about your current warranty? To help us answer some of those questions, we're joined by automotive expert Lauren Fix, live from Buffalo, New York. Good to see you. Erica? All right, if I have a Chrysler and I hear bankruptcy, I'm getting a little concerned now about whether I have a new car warranty or a used car warranty or whether I'm going to be able to get my car fixed in the long term. How well, should I be thinking? I wouldn't think that the company's going to go out of business in the next five minutes. I mean, what's really going to happen is once they go through bankruptcy court, the company was going through different articles right now of the bankruptcy court in order to get funds to keep the company running, keep the dealers going, keep the flow of cars going to the dealers. So there will be service, there will be warranty, there will be parts. However, the U.S. government claims they're going to back the warranty if, for some reason, Chrysler goes Chapter 7, which scares me because I figured that means 9 to 12 weeks before you get your money back after you pay for it out mm. front. So, I mean, my concern is if, it go, if Chrysler goes Chapter 7, which is highly unlikely, then that would be the case. Right now, we're at the point where there's not going to be any pr more cars produced. Every mm. single employee... It will not, that is either getting some form of pay, whether it be white collar or blue collar, why we're going through the bankruptcy process, which I promise you will be more than 60 days. Okay, and you mentioned car dealerships. All right, I'm going to take my Chrysler to the dealer to get repaired, mm -hmm. uh, to try to make good on my warranty. Oh, but wait a minute, some dealerships are going to be getting that phone call and mm -hmm. maybe closing down, so my options are being limited here. That's true, and the nice thing about any car manufacturer, whether you buy a VW, a Chrysler, a Ford, a GM, a Toyota, is wherever you buy that brand, you can go to that brand's dealer. So if there's another Chrysler or Dodge dealer in your area, mm -hmm. you can go to that dealership and not feel any sort of restrictions of the fact that the car won't be backed because it will be backed. Then in some cases, if you live in very small town America, you may need to go to the next town, which is an inconvenience to the consumer. All right, talk to me about this potential safety net. Fiat. If mm -hmm. the Italian car maker says, hmm, we want a little piece of the action here, Chrysler, is that good? Well, uh, that's a good question because right now they're being promised 20% of Chrysler. If they meet three different criteria, they'll gain 5% more of Chrysler ownership up to 35%. But if that happens, we're going to be bringing in Fiat product. You're not going to see that for 18 months, and they'll probably be hot in like the Fiat 500. Whether Fiat sells well in this country, we don't know. Its, rep its reputation here in the U.S. never was that wonderful. Right. In Europe, it's okay, although the president of the company does really know what he's doing. So let's hope he can use our distribution network of Chrysler and Dodge dealers to really try to help Chrysler get back on its feet. I'd, I'd really like to see it stay here in the U.S. and, and make good, but... We don't know that yet. Right now, the bankruptcy courts are really going to be something I'll be watching very closely in the next few days. Yeah, and Fiat's, they can be really cute, and they can also be pretty gorgeous. You think about yes. the Alfa Romeo, but oh, yes. folks I know who had an Alfa, it was constantly in the shop. So right. And right. they own Not Ferrari, a great track too. Record. They own Ferrari, too. I wouldn't mind having one of those in my yeah, driveway. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind that. I'll yeah. take that one. Can't Sorry. afford it, but I'd like to have one. <laughs> right, you'll be both. All right, Lauren Fix, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Rodriguez. <laughs>